All right, Seattle, we are back. And it's time for us to continue our year one simulation with your Seattle Stallions. But here, we're taking a, we're taking a look at our AHL squad, the Burnaby Aces, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that's right. We are the team in white going up against the, uh, I don't even know, the San Antonio Rampage or something. But uh, the reason we're taking a look at our AHL squad is because of our third defensive pairing, Malkin and Reyes. I want to see how these guys actually play out there all right so let's go boys it's a 4-3 lead for your aces with five minutes left here in the uh in the third period and we just want to see some of our young guns see what they look like and see if they get any uh great looking goals down here and we can also maybe bring up some of these guys because with nhl injuries on we're gonna have to dip into our N uh, our ahl roster over the course of the year right so let's see nolan gets nudged off the puck Jimmy Hayes up to Granoff. This guy could be up on our team in year number two. Dennis Granoff looking for the back pass, and it goes nowhere. Nope, we got him down there in the AHL. He's in the right spot, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Nastasuk, I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Ooh, commentating down here in the AHL is tough, but what a save by Eric Comrie. Looking to get the call up to the NHL. The young man, Daniel Sprong, looking for the hat trick. He's already got two goals in this game. Luff, the power forward, picked up in free agency. He's on the line. And Cartier, baby, I listened to the fans, the rival of 2BC in the past, playing on a line with Daniel Sprong and Luff, baby, the power forward sniper playmaker combination. Let's go. Come on now, boys, pick up that puck. Uh, Shillington, here we go. Here was um, an offensive defenseman that we picked up that didn't quite have the pinch shoot chemistry. But if we can build him up, could be a trade bait for us. Sprong, hat trick, what a save in front. Four minutes left. Daniel Sprong looking for it. Cartier taking a shot. Blocked by the Rampage. And here comes San Antonio back the other way. They have numbers. They're in the zone now with patience. Going to the front of the net. He still has it. Costin. Clap bomb. Just misses the net. Holy shit. Did he ever fire that thing? Here comes Daniel Sprong again. The goal scorer here in Burnaby. Turning back. Back to the point guy. Is that our, is there a point guys out there yet? Ivanov. No, it's our second line. Ivanov is one of our drafted players. There he is. 50 overall from Russia. Ivanov. Oh, no. Oh, giving the puck up. Ivanov. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Let's go, baby. All right. Renke picks it up for the San Antonio Rampage. Up to Klim Kostin. Klim Kostin, you know he's going to make the NHL one day. He's got that medium six potential. Up to Renke. They're not going to dump it in, but it actually pays off. The rush, they get in the zone, and now they have a great opportunity, a slap shot right from the top of the slot, but it is pushed aside by Eric Comrie. Good job. Ivanov, the drafted player for Seattle, picks up the puck up to Baptiste, who's going to dump the puck in. Yo, that might be it. It might be time for Malkin. It might be time for Malkin and Reyes, ladies and gentlemen. Are they out there? Are they out there? We're going to know right back to get the puck. Who is it? It's Malkin! Oh, Malkin got wrecked, dude! Welcome to the North American hockey! Malkin is out there, ladies and gents, with Reyes. Let's go! Mueller, Peter Mueller, looking for the return. There you go. He's going to find Leach over on the right side. Malkin, the offensive defenseman at 5'9". He's going to have to learn how to play here in North America. All these, all these, all these, uh, what are we, trapping it up? We're trapping it up with four, with a, with a one-goal lead. Get in there, Reyes. Reyes is number 19. Reyes, the big man, gets wrecked. Yeah, the youngins, they are getting left hanging out on the uh, the dump and chase right now. You don't like to see it. Can we get a little offensive zone puck possession so we can feed it back to them? Emerson Eaton walking in trying to go five hole, but it's blocked in front. And Huso is going to smother that puck. All right, so both of our defensemen getting absolutely wrecked, which tells me they belong down here in the AHL. They got to work on their skating. Are they still out there, though? Gurianov, Hayes, and Nemesnikov are out there. Our first line. What about our defensive core? Let it be Malkin. Let it be Malkin. Come on. Oh, ah, man. San Antonio's going to win that face off. He just can't go. <gasps> Step up on it. Oh, it's Hayes. Garanov! Oh, he hits the side of the net. Come on, Garanov. You got that low elite potential. I'm hoping for big things out of you next season. Kairu, he's going to get it up. I, I think they changed. Yeah, I think they changed, boys. Malkin and Reyes are off the ice. They didn't have a great uh, shift right there. Oh, Costin takes the shot. Goes nowhere. Luff, but the sprong line looks like it's coming back out. Delarose tries to center it. Nemestikov blocks it. Shillington up to Luff. Here goes Luff. He's open on the left wing. Cross the blue line. Cuts back in, but no. Sends that puck to nowhere. Does San Antonio have a tying goal in this final minute and 20 seconds? Or will the, uh, the Burnaby Aces be able to hold on? Oh, only time will tell, ladies and gentlemen. Here come the aces. Daniel Sprague looking for that hat trick. It might have to be an empty netter. Back to the point. 
Back down low. Good job. Just dump that puck in. Play it smart. No problem here. Up to, I couldn't even see the name. Laughing or Lappin'. He's got it. It finds an open. Vishoni. Back to the point. They could have done some work there. Are they going to pull the goalie? Less than a minute left. Oh, what a block. What a block right there by the Burnaby Aces player. That's a broken stick, which means we have a parcel break. The man coming back, the back checker. He's got no twig. Oh, but what a play by Bjorgman. One-on-one. -on -one. He does not get beat. Are they going to pull their goalie? Yes, they do. They wait till 40 seconds left to pull the goaltender. They dump the puck in, but they get in on the forecheck. Teormina struggling. McEachern. Gets the puck back for the Rampage. They have the extra attacker. Wrist shot. Good save in front by Eric Comrie. Oh, no. The Rampage are buzzing in the slot. Looking to get that forehand shot off. Wesley. He's got it on the blue line. Finds it in front. No, but Baptiste. There you go. Get it out, buddy. Leach, 14 seconds. Bury it. He's going to do the smart play. Gets across the red line and dumps it in. Doesn't try to even get that goal. Last chance for the Rampage. Comes up, and Baptiste is going to intercept it. Taramina gets it up to center ice. Spiller! Oh, Spiller scores as the game ends. And that's a victory for your uh, uh, Burnaby Aces, baby. Yeah. Spiller, boys, right there at the end. It didn't count as a goal, but he did put it in, giving the hometown fans something to cheer for. That's a beautiful way to have the, uh, the game or the night come to an end. Your team just buries the empty netter. All right, so uh, Malkin and Reyes, we both got a glimpse of them. They got their asses handed to them. And Spiller at the end, didn't really notice him at all until that point. But let's take a look at uh, what they look like here, all right? We got to see the kind of players that uh, we have drafted here. We got to know. All right, hang on a second. Let me just back off. Back off. Back off. Where's the empty net goal? Did I the... Hang on. Did I skip it? I must have skipped it. Hang on a second here, boys. I must have skipped the empty net goal, but I want to see what Spiller looks like. Yeah, it's right at the end of the game. I'm an idiot. I don't know what I was backing off for. There he is. All right, so uh, Spiller. I don't know what his first name was. There he is, boys. Spiller, baby. Yeah, rocking that beard. Does he have a nice flow as well? Oh, excuse me. Have a nice flow as well? Eh, he's working on it. Number 50. What's his first name? Spiller, baby. No, it, no, it didn't count. No, it didn't count. It was definitely after the uh, the whistle. And what about Malkin and Reyes? Where are you, goofs? Malkin and Reyes. All right, so I think Reyes was number 19. I forget what Malkin was. Hang on, 19, 19, 19, 19. Is that them? Is that them? Malkin and... Look, they're buddies. They're bros, baby. They're already broskies. Yes! Malkin and Reyes, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Taking a look at the young guys, Trenton Spiller. Oh, can I get? Can I get? Like, see, I wish I could go back in the the fan in the stands to rotate the camera. Unfortunately, it's like a dead zone for your camera, so you know you got to do it here. The thumbnail, the boys. Get your hands up, four fools. What are you? What are you doing? What are you two fools doing? They're just talking, dude. They don't even get tired. They got the young legs. They're standing up talking, mad smack. Whoa. Dude, we're going to get hit in the face. We're not ready for this just yet. Oh, man. They must have had concussions from earlier. All right. There are those. Those are the two beauties. I got to leave room for the thumbnail or the logo on the uh, the left. But there they are. Malkin and Reyes, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Yeah. So let's jump back to the main menu. Okay. So a 4-3 to three victory for your Burnaby Aces who have started the year... Uh, on fire, 4-0, and oh, which is exactly what we want, right? Daniel Sprong, along with a handful of other guys, we are trying to grow these suckers for year number two. So the fact that Daniel Sprong is getting a plus five on that second line with Luff and Cartier, and the fact that he's already got eight points in four games played, we're hoping that we see him get a huge jump for year number two. Same thing with Gurianov. Um, he's only got the plus three, but still, plus three is pretty good. And uh, Trenton Spiller. Back there on the third, they got the plus three, and, uh, Malkin, and uh, Malkin and Reyes, that's why we were taking a look at those two guys, they got the plus five. So we're really trying to grow those suckers, but now it's time to get back to our NHL squad, the Seattle Stallions. So I was asking the chat whether or not we should fire our coach. Now that we've figured out the chemistry, one thing that's going to hold us back in year number one is the fact that our coach is just not good enough overall-wise. Yes, we have figured out the chemistry, but he's only a C overall head coach, which means that the power play penalty, like the penalty kill is a D defense offense. So I was considering hiring a coach just for year number one, like this guy Lyles or this guy Couturier, even though our chemistry wouldn't be as, as good. Um, I think overall our team would simulate better, 
But the fans were saying, no, 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 no. Tank year number one. At the same time, grow the players that you're trying to grow with the chemistry. So even though we may not simulate as well as we want to, the guys that we're trying to grow on our NHL squad for next season, guys like Sammy Blay, uh, Hino Stroh, I mean, all the second line we're trying to grow, these guys are going to benefit from playing better from having the chemistry. So even though the team will lose, the players will produce ideally making them better for year number two, which is when we can find the real coach that we want, right? Remember, I did say finding the uh, the right chemistry with the right roster, it's going to be a two, three, four year affair. Um, if we can make the playoffs in year number one, that's going to be, it's going to be good. But we've decided along with the chat that uh, we are tanking, all right? So I'm um, not firing the coach. If we can start to win game, that's great. I'm not going to deliberately tank. But I'm not going to start trading for players this season, start firing coaches, none of that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go one month at a time here, and then we're going to do a reset. Considering that October is shortened, I think we're going to take it up to November, and then we can reassess our scouts and the, 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 the upcoming player draft, potential trades. At the end of every month, we're going to do our due diligence, essentially, all right? So let's go to the end of the month. Uh, boom. We're, we're not going to get there. Injuries are going to pop up, but let's see what we can do. Our very first win. At Dallas, can we get our very first win? No, we cannot. Up against the Anaheim Ducks. Sammy Vatanen's been injured with an injured elbow. All right, so now you guys are on board with me here, right? No power of video editing. We're going to have injuries, but we wanted injuries this season. So, he is out, which means we're going to go with uh, our alternate captain, Justin Braun. That's a minus three on the first line. Not good. So, let's give Haycheck and Heath the chance to really showcase their skills. And we're going to go with uh, Dahan. You and you, yeah, we have too many defensive defensemen on this team. That's the problem. So you're getting the minus three in there. You're not going to be able to get rid of that. So we'll just go with Braun and Larson there on the second. Unless I can, is there any way I can? No. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. We might even want, like, a, if we want to go after another depth defenseman, we might even want, like, a, a two-way defenseman just to help out with the, uh, with the chemistry. But um, injuries are going to happen. It's just, I was hoping that the injuries would happen to our defensive defensemen, not our offensive defensemen, but so be it. All right, now what else do I need to change? Extra attackers, four on four, shootout. The hell? One of our, uh, Sammy Vatnin was taking a shot in the shootout. All right, Eric Stahl, Yarncroc, Adam Henrique, and let's go Kase. Oh, I already had Kase in there. Stahl, Yarncroc, Kase, Adam Henrique. Where's my other sniper? Hang on. Yarncroc. Who was it? Janssen, that's the one. There you go. All right. Injuries changed. Oh, 3-2 loss to the Anaheim Ducks. A 6-2 loss to the New York Rangers. A 6-2 loss to the Ottawa Senators. Yeah, it is definitely the coach right now. So, again, I'm going to bring I'm going to bring up the scouts. The season is not over, but should we fire the coach and get a better coach or should we just continue to just tank and shit the bed all season long? I'll let you guys chime in. Tank Tank, a lot of people still calling for tanks. Tank, tank. A lot of people calling for those tanks. Tank, tank, grow your players. All right, so people are calling for the tank. So we are not going to be like the Vegas Golden Knights in year number one, ladies and gentlemen. It is just not going to happen. The fans want us to tank for year number one, and uh, we are, in fact, going to... Oh, my God. Oh, oh, eight and one. Oof. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, nine and one. We can't even get a victory in our fir very first 10 game. There it is! There it is! Yes, baby! Patrick Name has been injured with a mild concussion. That's Burnaby, so I'll just replace that player. Uh, hang on a second. There's the victory, ladies and gents. A 5-1 defeat over the San Jose Sharks. Yeah! Now, if we're playing this bad, we actually may be hurting our players. Because if they're not getting points, we want to bring somebody else in. We want to bring a better coach in. So hang on a second. Uh, player stats. Okay, let me just take a look at this. Because, I mean, I don't want to have this bad of a season. You know what I mean? The plus minus does matter as well. What about uh, Sammy? Yeah, we're not getting enough. We're not. Okay, so I got to fire this coach. The coach works for the um, the uh, the chemistry, but he's not good for anything else. So we've got to get rid of this guy right now. Okay? So remember how we hired two coaches in the offseason? Agin would have been fine for the AHL. See how our AHL team's killing it. But he's just not quite good enough for the NHL. So it's time that we, it's time that we fire this guy. All right? I think... We're we're losing too much where it's actually hurting our development. So let's let's get let's get to this. Develop the coach. No, well you the coach gets worse if he's if he's losing. We're developing Hendrickson. Don't worry, guys. Agen will still be available along with a bunch of other coaches with the the pinch shoot setup. Watch, I'll even show you guys. We'll go forwards, right? 
Oh, hang on, it's gonna take a while. Forwards. All right. All we gotta do is find somebody with a uh, a pinch shoot. So there you go. Pinch shoot. There it is. Pinch shoot. There it is. Pinch shoot. There it is. All right. There's plenty of them. Pinch shoot. There it is. Pinch shoot. There it is. So finding somebody with like a C coach is fine. What we want to find is a coach with a forward with like a B minus or better. So I'm gonna just take a chance on this Katoria guy. I think we fired him in the uh, the off season. It's a pinch cycle. But you know what? You know what? Screw that. No, 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 no. Give me all the coaches. What about the generalist, Lyles? Chris Lyles. What are you? Balance. You know, he's just balanced. So that'll help everything. Yeah. I'm going to get this guy, Chris Lyles. All right. So head coach for one year. Let's pay the man. Let's pay the man. Now, ha actually, hang on. How do I do this? Hang on. Because the, the coaching in this game is real weird. How do I, how do I hire a coach? Because you can't advance a day without having a head coach. But you can't hire... You gotta hot. You gotta fire him first, but then you can't advance the day. Can't hire a head coach midseason. Call, fire your coach. Call up interim. Hire coach. Interim. Interim coach. Okay. So I gotta fire Agon. Fired. I'm gonna bring up Petrangelo as a. Wait, hang on. Who do I want to access? I don't want to lose the the good guy. Okay. The other two guys have the better teaching, so I'll lose Petrangelo. It, just in case, I'll promote him to interim NHL head coach, right? And then I hire Lyles, one year NHL head coach. Yeah, because I mean, one ten. Oh, our record is one and ten. That's that's a lot. I thought we'd be like kind of below five hundred, but not like just not winning any games. Get the hell out of here. Now, signed super coach, mind blown. You could demote after. Yeah, but I don't know. Like it's. don't know if it actually changes it himself you could demote well we'll see what happens hang on all right so seven million works one year head coach offer contract thanks for the offer i'll get back to you in a few days so when that guy accepts the offer is it automatic what happens there it changes when uh, on its own when he signs changes so it just it just goes immediately I'm waiting. I'm like, hang on, guys. Everyone in the YouTube. I'm just. I'm. I'm. I. I don't accidentally want to lose somebody here. So interim. So auto. All right. So they're saying it's auto. So let's just advance a few days and try to get this head coach signed. All right. So um, everyone thinking that the first head coach was a mistake. He wasn't. Remember, we figured out exactly the kind of chemistry that we want and the players that will work with that chemistry. So I know the players now. Now we just gotta get through season number one and uh, eventually find the head coach that we're looking for. All right, so let's advance a few days. There's two more losses, Calgary and Edmonton. Uh, Matt Luff has been injured with a mild concussion. I'll just replace the player. Uh, all right, cool. So that's what you do. All right, so I didn't know that in the past, but that does work. If you guys were wondering how you can get a head coach midseason, you got to fire your head coach, make one of your associate coaches or assistant coach a, um, a, uh, a, 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 what's it called? an interim and then go hire the head coach and everything will be fine all right cool so look what that head coach does for us now all right a's across the board really good all right so that's that taken care of now our lines are going to be all over the place now right like that's still not bad all right still not bad eric stall liking the first line yarn crock liking the first line. probably anderson doesn't like it yeah anderson's good on the second line what about you yug Staddy? all right interesting all right, Janssen, first line. No, might as well keep you there. Let's see what we can do here with the new lines, boys. He knows Throlza. Uh, Eric Stahl is still the best for the first. Yeah, Yarncroc, still the best. I need If I can get a power forward that's really good on that first line, we can have a plus five. Goudreau, <sighs> almost. Yeah, it still is Josh Anderson, plus three. Yeah, that's close. Uh, second line. Yeah, you're good. You're not. You're not. Do I have a sniper that works out on the second line? Yarncroc? Yeah, you. So I can switch these two guys around and get the plus three for both. Yep. Uh, Kase? Oh, baby! Oh, just missing out on it. Oh, man, that's so close. What about... What about Bjugstad and then Hino Stroza? Oh, we got a five there. Eric Stahl, Yarncroc, and Anderson on the second line gets a five. Fuck yeah. That's what I like to see. 
Wayne Simmies. Oh, yeah, he's a power forward, isn't he? He's not a two-way. Ah, he's a better on the second line. That is so close. It's Bjugstad. It's the power forward. Yeah. It's still good, though. Sammy Blay. What about Sammy Blay? First line. <laughs> we can get Blay going on the first line now, boys, with a plus three. Bjugstad, Kasse, and Blay. Anderson, Yarncroc, uh, 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 and Stahl. He knows throws. What about uh, Janssen? Janssen's fine there. He knows throws. Uh, it's fine there. Problem is, I don't have a. Hmm. If I switch you and you. Yep, that'll do. So Goudreau's going to. So Sammy Blay then in the middle. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we got it. 3 5 3, baby. We got it. And everyone's in the right position. Goudreau, Blake, Kase, Yarncroc, Stahl, Anderson. Hino, Stroza, Bjugstad, Janssen, Simmons, Henrik, Vetrano. That's it. That's it. Defensively, uh, Vatman and Larson. All right, so even. Even Steven. Even Steven. Uh, Heed. Even Steven. Even Steven. Even Steven. Even Steven. All right. This balance guy is awesome, man, because he's, he's just helping out everyone. You're not going to get the plus fives anywhere, but everyone's going to be at least plus one. Not too shabby. But we are going to lose a lot in the power play now. Remember, we had a plus five in the power play? But uh, I guess we're okay with that, correct? Now, is there any way I can get a plus five? I got a power forward. No, we're not getting plus fives anywhere, but I can get a plus three on both. There you go. A plus three on both. Sammy Blay, Anderson, Janssen, Heed. Yeah, looks good. Four man power play. Uh, who's not? Who's not working out here? Who's not? Who's not working out? Hang on, somebody's not working out. It's Hino Stroza. It's Hino Stroza and Janssen. So, Kase, Kase works. Batten and Yarn Croc. Kase and Yarn. Okay, so you there? You. I need Dahan Vatnin. I need Heed. Who's the offensive defenseman? Heed, right? Bang. Yep, that'll do. Plus ones for both. Nice penalty kill. Woo! So this coach is much better for the penalty kill. We can get Henrik. Oh, yeah, baby. Hell, yeah. Uh, second line penalty it ain't going to be the greatest. That's okay. But the first line's going to be nice. Uh, first line penalty kill. That's good enough. Extra attackers. Yep. Uh, goaltenders. What are you doing on the year, Thatcher? 9068 percentage. Grice. You want to... Whoa. You want to start uh, Thatcher Demko a little bit here? Let's give Thatcher some games played. Let's see if we can give uh let's let's see if we can give Thatcher Demko some 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 ice time. See what he can do. So go settings. Uh rules. We're all over the place right now, ladies and gentlemen. I know, but this is part of it. This is the year one. Uh where's auto rotate goalies? Auto rotate goalies are off. Alright, so we're gonna run with an a manual rotation of our goalies for right now. I wanna see if we can get back in this season. I know it's a horrible start. But um, I was listening to the fans. We wanted to tank. I don't want to tank this much, though, because I think this is really hurting our um, our uh, our growth. But now you're going to see some real good growth from Sammy Blay, who's on the first line at a plus three. Yarncroc and Anderson have a plus five. So we just got to find a center playmaker for them in the future. But those two guys are going to be good. And then the third line looks decent. So this is not bad. This is not bad. Save the game. Everyone right now in the chat is calling for a save. You never know when EA Voodoo is going to rear its ugly, disgusting face. So, yes, we need to uh, create a new file. Absolutely. absolutely, freaking lutely There you go. All right. Saved. Now, let us get back to the simulation with our new head coach. What was our new head coach's name? I got to remember that. I got It was like, uh, that's, that's, that's storyline purposes. And fans are calling for um, the fan art to return. We could do fan art again if you guys want. We'd have to do it on our Discord channel. You guys would have to message me on the Discord channel for fan art. It's a pain in the ass, though. I'd, I'd have to figure out how to get it in for the live stream. So it's Lyles. Lyles, baby. Kurt Lyles. All right, so Kurt Lyles, the newest head coach here in Seattle. Agon just was not getting it done. So we've decided to move on to the new guy, all right? So let's get to the end of November. That's what we wanted to get to. Let's go all the way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That was October. This is November, right here past the Montreal Canadiens. All right, simulate day. First game with the new coach, home ice. We haven't won a game at home, at home just yet. Oh, no. Tim Heed has been uh, injured with a mild concussion. We got to get in there, ladies and gentlemen. Tim Heed goes down. Uh, that's all right. I got to do this ourselves. So I'll move up Calvin DeHaan. And then we're going to have two defensive defensemen on the third, which kind of sucks. But uh, it's only a zero because, yeah, that's good, actually. It's, we only lose a little bit. Uh, power play. Who'd I got Braun on the power play? Plus one. Yeah, sure. That's fine. 
All right, here we go. First game at home. We win. We win two in a row. The new coach is perfect. Yeah, so when you want to work out chemistry in this game, do not underestimate the stats of your head coach. I would not drop below a B+. Plus. Once you're starting to go below B+, plus, doesn't matter if you have plus fives everywhere. It's going to hurt you. All right, we got a new coach, and he is helping us out. Patrick Namath is back for our Burnaby Aces, so I'm going to slot him back in. Malkin Reyes, Ivanov, McQuaid. It was definitely McQuaid, right? Yeah. Adam McQuaid, get your ass out of there. All right. Boom. And let's take a look at Malkin and Reyes. Malkin is a plus eight. Awesome. Plus eight in 16 games. And a Reyes, a plus seven. Don't worry about their point totals. The fact that they're winning games and that they're plus, playing in the AHL at a plus five, that's really good for their growth, man. Real good. Tim Heed. All right. So I didn't actually have to change too much. You know what's really cool about NBA 2K EA, and I'm not even gonna, I'm not even ripping on you guys, but when a player gets injured, it actually tells you right there in the injury screen how long they're going to be injured for. So you can kind of make a determination, oh, he's going to be injured for three days. I don't have another game for six days. I don't need to edit anything. You know, just something, just more information, shit like that. There you go. Fuck, I'll move Tim Heat down now, yeah. And same thing with Chirot. Let's keep them down here. Move up the better players to the better lines. All right, there you go. Next up, Detroit. Ah, it's a 3-2 loss, so the winning streak comes to an end after two, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we want to get uh, Matt Luff back in there. He was a big part of Burnaby's uh, 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 second-line chemistry. Clayson is not getting it up, uh, getting it done, but Luff will. There you go. Luffy with the plus five. Sprong has got himself 19 goals in 19 games played. He is going to grow. He is going to grow, ladies and gentlemen. He is going to grow. All right, so a 4-1 victory over New Jersey. A 3-2 loss to the uh, Boston Bruins. Oh, we're winning overtime. Yeah. No! He sprained his wrist. Estimated return is December 7th. Hmm. December 7th. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll replace him. We want to make sure that he does not get uh, injured. So his first injury. Don't worry, boys. Injuries are going to happen in the NHL. We got to go through them. All right. I'm going to deal with them. Ooh, three in a row in regulation. Not good. All right, so we are at the end. Um, we started like 110 and 1 or something like that. So we've been at 500 since the new coach. Um, I'm hoping that we can just have a, a good end to the season. Some of these guys can get some growth. Let's take a look at our season standings and see how we're playing. All right. So obviously the numbers are going to be skewed because of our first coach. Let's just take a look at some of these, though. The best team in the NHL uh, right now are the San Jose Sharks. Oh, no, that's specific division. Hang on. Entire league. Entire league, you got Dallas Stars, Tampa Bay Lightning, Washington, Montreal, and Toronto as your top five. All right. Uh, entire league, let's see. Goals four per game. Is it going to show where we are now? So let's just do our division instead. Uh, Pacific. There we go. Goals four per game. Uh, we are second last, so we've got to find a way to score more goals. I'm hoping that that comes with our new coach, though. Goals against per game, we are the worst. All right, so we got to shore up defensively. But that's, again, the coach, the coach, the coach big time. Oh! <gasps> Power play has got to get much better. Holy shit. That's <laughs> uh, bad, man. We had a plus five on the power play. How does that happen? Penalty kill. All right. That's not good at all. So we've got to, we got to get those numbers trending in the right direction, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's Demko in the net. Oh, yeah. I left Demko. Oh, shit. Automated rotate. Ah, oh, fuck. Forgot about that. I shouldn't have gone that many days. Uh, that, you know, it's okay. We didn't go too far with it. So, um, Eric Stahl, let's see, 16 points in 24 games played. He knows Stroza. Yeah, they're all minus. Jake Vitrano, though. Oh, Frank Vitrano. Jake Vitrano. Frank Vitrano is, so the fourth line is a plus five. That's nice. Sammy Blay, Wayne Simmons. We gotta get these guys going. We gotta get these guys going. So we gotta go another month here. Sammy Vatnin, uh, Heed and Haycheck, a minus 12, minus 18. <laughs> Chemistry, my ass. Uh, goaltenders. Hey, Thatcher's been pretty good. Should Thatcher be the goalie? Thatcher's got to be the goalie for right now, for sure. But he just had three losses in a row. So, let's do a little line change. Let's just get um, Grice some some ice time. I see how it looks. Uh, goalies. Get Grice in there. There you go. Oh, seizure alert. Appreciate it. I'll get your donations and subs later, boys. Got to stick in YouTube mode right now. Uh, coaching staff. All right. So, taking care of that, we're going to continue to simulate. I got that taken care of. Um, now we're at the end of year number one. Let's take a look at the draft class because our, our, our scouts have been out there for a while now, right? Yeah, baby. Lafreniere and Tillacy. So the fact that we've been scouting and targeting the guys at the top, we're going to have a lot of information for these guys. So 
when I actually click on their names, let's see, Lafreniere, Woo! Behind the net, carry cycle efficient balance. That's what I'm looking at now, okay? So we can find something with an overload. That will be real nice. Behind the net, behind the net. Overload, balance cycle, energy block. Alexander Holtz. That would be nice. Uh, Quinn Byfield. All right, nothing there. Uh, behind the net, behind the net, behind the net. So we just got to continue to uncover all of these guys. All right, but Holtz looked like a, a good one because uh, I think he's a two-way forward, though. Overload, balance, balance. Here we go. Kirill, ooh, he's, he's got to be a created guy in year number one. Overload, balance, 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 balanced. This guy could just work on any line, essentially. Interesting. Kirill, can I, can I just, like, scout him? Yeah. Scout him now. There you go. Scout his ass. All right. So he's going to get scouted. Can I just scout him that way? Can I go, like, scout you? Oh, I don't have, oh, I don't have anyone... Currently being oh he is be oh he's already he's already being scouted oh they are being scouted oh okay that's why cool so I don't have to come here then I could just do this no scouts in the region I could just do it from this screen okay that's better okay cool I'll come back there later what about our uh, scouts right now well I went to coaching oh yeah we want to go to coaching staff. Scouts, let's see. Are they still out there? So the guy in the Russia, he's pretty much done his scouts. Liga, they're done. Done. Done, 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 done. All right, so they're all done. I've already done the, they've already sent out the scouts one time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to back off. I'm going to turn the scouts on to automated. We're going to put them back on the manual towards the end of the year, but let them do their job because I've already sent them out once. They've taken care of all the top players in each area, but now I just want them to just do their their natural stuff. All right, so hang on a second. Where is it? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where, where, where the hell is it? Auto scouting. There it is. Auto scouting. All right. Both. So now they're just going to send them out naturally. All right. Bang. Send them out naturally. And uh, if I'm looking at the calendar, when should we turn it back to automated? Because I want to have probably three months, three months before the draft, just so I have enough time that I know I can get them in there. So if we go all the way to June, that's the NHL entry draft. So May, April, probably around like the beginning of March, the trade deadline. All right. Can you guys remind me? Trade deadline, we want to go back on um, manual scouting reports, all right? Trade deadline. So that's what we're going to do now. To start the year, we're going to send out our scouts to specific players. We're going to turn it on automated after that. Then we're going to take it to ma uh, March, the trade deadline. We're going to go back to manual and make sure that we target. Because then, around the trade deadline, we'll know where our draft picks are going to be and how many we're going to have, and we can really decide who we want to target in the draft. All right, cool. Dell Scout. Everyone's saying Dell Scout. Dell Scout. Dell Scout. All right. Hang on a second. The fans right now in the chat, the scouts are telling me I've forgotten something. Uh, coaching staff. Do I have two do I have two guys in Europe and not one in uh, in Germany? I have 20 scouts, so I don't have... I have one in Abel, Extra Liga, and NLA. Uh, uh, they can't really send them from anywhere. So we'll take care of Dell when we go back to manual. Let them take care of everyone in Abel, Extra Liga, and NLA. There are four different leagues in Europe. I only have three European scouts, so... We'll just, we'll just deal with it for right now. We'll turn it back on manual later. All right? All right. So other than that, let's just go. So I got Grice in the net. Let's see if Grice can... I'll give Grice two games. We'll see what he can do. All right? So you got Vegas. You got St. Louis. Those are your two games, Grice. If you can get me a win, I'll give you Philly as well. December 1st. All right? So RFAs are no longer um, eligible to sign and play. Uh, oh, good. Malkin is back, boys. Malkin is no longer injured. All right, so get him in there. Reyes McQuaid, no. Two defensive defensemen, no, 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 no. Malkin. Right in there. All right, Malkin and Reyes back alongside of one another where they belong. Central scouting report. Uh, no, I've already done that. All right, so a 3-2 loss and an overtime loss. So Grice comes in. He goes 0-1-1. One, one. We're going to go back with Thatcher Demko. Even if we lose... You know, if I if we're going to lose with both goalies, I'd rather beat Thatcher Demko, who's getting the ice time, so that he's ready for year number two. All right, so we're going to leave the uh, goalies on automate, on, on manual because I want to get uh, Thatcher some ice time. And uh, Grice will become a nice, uh, will become a nice uh, trade deadline acquisition. All right, so let's get back to simulating here. We have back-to-back. -back, uh, I'll give Grice the second game up against uh, Vancouver just to avoid any injuries. And then I go back with Demko unless Grice can win. Philly, that's a 2-0 loss. Not uh, our goalie's fault. 3-1. Do I want to give Demko the back-to-back, -back, or do I want to give it to Grice? He just got the 3-1 victory. 
Back to back. What do you guys think? Who gives a shit? Just auto rotate. You're tanking. Back to back. All right, give him back to back. Nah, boys. I'm telling you, we're going. We're going slower this year. All right, we're gonna see what we can do. All right, so he's got a nice stretch before the Christmas break. Yeah, let's take it all the way down there. Let's give Demko the chance. All right, he's got plenty of uh, rest in between games here. Seattle player Adam Larson's been injured with a sprained ankle. All right, so Adam Larson's gone for a little bit. Uh, that's actually not that bad of an injury. I can deal with that one because we just throw in a defensive defenseman. Uh, our alternate, Justin Braun, and he should still get the plus one. Yes, he does. So we don't lose anything there. Overtime loss up against the Columbus Blue Jackets. That's a victory. I mean, had we started the year with this coach, it'd still be a tough season, but we'd be around 500. That one ten and one start, that's rough to come back from, man. All right, Adam Larson in there for Justin Braun. There you go. Vatten and Larson both, uh, uh, what's it called, the lingering injury? Whatever, man. We ain't load managing here in Seattle. You got to get out there and play. I need you guys to, to drive up your trade value. All right, and we are at the Christmas break with a record of 10, 21, and 4. Yeah, so ever since we made the change to this new coach, we're essentially like at 500. We're like 10 and 10, 10 and 11 and 3 or something like that, right? So much better. Even though we're tanking still, our players are are producing. Like, they're getting more points. They're not going to be, like, minus 50 by the end of the year, you know? So here we are at the end of uh, December, and we are going into the year 2020, ladies and gentlemen. Not a good year in real life, but maybe in the virtual world it'll be a lot better for uh, the Seattle Stallions. Yeah, look at Eric Stahl. He's uh, slowly but surely be becoming point per game. With this new uh, with this new setup, team stats. So let's see if our power play percentage at least has been trending in the right direction. Goals four per game. Let's see. Uh, Seattle Stallions. So we're moving up the list. Uh, we're trying to move up the list. Goals against per game still the worst. Uh, power play percentage. Yes, it has gotten better. All right. So it is trending in the right direction. Other teams like LA and Edmonton at 14%. We're only 4% behind Edmonton. So yeah, we're right there. Uh, player stats. Can't do much worse than Detroit. <laughs> there you go. Uh, forwards, right? So, yeah, look at look at Eric Stahl, uh, uh, Anderson, and whatever snipers on that line. They're really going to start to play well. Eric Stahl is back to a plus. Like, they're pull that, that second line with a plus five is looking really good, man. Hino Stroza, uh, Vetrano, Yarncroft, Kase. What about Sammy Blay? Sammy Blay is a minus, only a minus seven now. He's got 16 points. Yeah, we want to play him. We want to play him right there. All right, so there you go. AHL stats. You guys want the AHL stats? All right. Uh, yep, yep, I'll show you the AHL stats. I just forget how to do it. Give you guys an update. I won't give you a team stats, all right, because that's a little bit uh, redundant at this point. But I, oh, I meant to show you player stats. I say I'm not going to show you team stats, and what the fuck do I click on? Team stats. I'm a, I'm a dumbass sometimes. I really am. Woo! Daniel Sprong, you are killing it. 53 points in 37 games played, 26 goals. Still 79 overall, so I, 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 I'm I fine with him playing down there in the AHL. Cartier as well. Oof, Cartier having a great year. Uh, Nemestikov, Shillington, Gurianov. Gurianov could be doing better. All right, but that's okay. Trenton Spiller, 12 goals, 19 points, a plus six. So this is why I played the guys in the AHL. I knew I could get them to have good seasons. So it's better to have them have a good seasons in the AHL than to not sign them. So that's fine right there. And then what about Malkin? Uh, Malkin is only a plus three. Uh, six points. And what about Reyes? A minus one. Oh, they dropped off a little bit. Dropped off a little bit. But I'm still fine with him getting that ice time, all right? Still fine with it. All right. So, uh, yeah. We've got a game up coming up against the uh, the Ottawa Senators right here, do we? All right. So, I have an idea. Don't know if this is going to go well. Don't know if it's going to be good. Don't know if it's going to be shit. Based on uh, whether or not this pops up in the YouTube video, you'll know if it's good or shit. If it's shit, we're going to come right back to the uh, the gameplay. If it's good, you're going to actually get to see some in-game gameplay with, hopefully, our future first-line center to replace Eric Stahl once we move on from him, Sammy Blay. We picked him up in the expansion draft, all right? 23 years of age, medium top six potential, which is something that I can work with. We got him up on the first line right now. He's got all the good stats where we need him to be. I want to see how this guy actually actually performs out there on the ice so we're gonna take control of sammy blay in the third period and see what we can do with him let's go okay so that was a big time failure i didn't like it the fans didn't like it we are not going to do that <laughs> um nba 2k allows you to have some fun with jumping into gameplay and having it be seamless ea sports maybe an nhl 50 who knows ladies and gentlemen but let, let's not uh let's not uh get stuck on that let's get one more month done 
before we take it to the next video. So the plan is, yeah, we're going to take it one more month right there. Oh, excuse me. We're going to call it and we'll save the next video for the trade deadline and for the end of the season because we're already two hours into this. Holy shit. And when I'm done editing, I don't know how long the video is going to be. All right. So let's get to the end of uh, what is it? January. Yeah, let's get to the end of January, ladies and gentlemen. Come on now. Can we get back on track at all? Can we go on a little bit of a winning streak? All we need is a little bit of a winning streak. And, and all of a sudden we are back at 500. I know it sounds crazy, right? But it's it's not that bad. Like, yeah, like a four-game winning streak. And then we lose one, then you win three in a row. You know, if we just get like, well, here we go. This is a big, oh, this is Thatcher Demko's killing it. Let me slow it down here a little bit. All right, so that's a loss. I'm going to give Grice the game here because he just lost one, but he's been on a winning streak. Let's give uh, Thatcher Demko the game. All right, the next one. I mean, uh, uh, Grice the next one. Hang on a second. Edit lines. Lock is Demko. Yeah, we could have done that as well. Yeah, I could have I could have locked um, multiple positions and had fun with it. But it, it is, it's not the greatest. And I mean, again, you're playing with AI out there, which is not the greatest. Thanks, EA. I actually enjoy watching the AI play in 2K, which is fucking weird. I can actually watch the AI play that game. Um, all right, so we've got our back-to-back. -back. Grice is getting in there for the second. Uh, scouting report, blah, blah, blah. That's a loss, so we're going to go back with Demko immediately. So Demko has turned himself into a starting goaltender, even though he is only an 80 overall in comparison to Grice being 84 overall. Pretty sure his numbers have been far superior. Uh, I'll show you guys. Grice is an 8-8-8 with a 3-8-6 uh, goals against. He's got two wins in 17 games played. Demko has 17 wins in 35 games played with a 900. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's better. Demko is the goalie. Demko is the goalie, all right? So, Thatcher, get your ass back in there. Just sim to the draft? No, 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 no. We have a lot of potential uh, trades at the trade deadline, guys. We got to go through all that. But I want to save that for the next video because we, we've we already gone we've already gone far enough. We've already gone far enough. We will take a look at all the other teams. We'll do a little wrap-up here, but I want to see what we can do. 18, 24, and 5. That's an overtime loss. It's a point. And it's against Detroit, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, that's another uh, that's another point all right so we're right there uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna take it yeah i'm gonna leave it right there ladies and gentlemen because i want some time before the trade deadline to make some trades all right but before we end the video let's do a few few things first off let's do some due diligence see if there are any potential trades that we could make that could improve our team immediately all right now remember it's gonna be hard to find uh uh players that work chemistry because we have a different head coach now so it's got to be a player that is just a surefire a surefire win for us, all right? So hang on a second. Let's see. Uh, and if we come the trade deadline, we're not, we're clearly not a playoff team. We'll be dumping these players for draft picks, right? So I'm not getting prospects, I'm not getting anything like that. No. The guy I missed. The guy I missed. The guy I missed, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. <laughs> Wilson, no. Uh, here we go. TJ Brody, a two-way for... Well, two-way to fit. Nah, not really. Nah, that doesn't help us out in any way, shape, or form. Travis Hamannick might, because he's a defensive defenseman, if you could make that trade go through. 29. You know, it could be an upgrade from, like, Namath or Braun or someone like that. Uh, Jordan Stahl, nah. Andrew Shaw, nah. Uh, Wilson, Calvert, nah. Harley, nah. Kanye, nah. Uh, James Neal, no. Zach Cassian, no. Alex Chason, no. All their power forwards. Brett Connolly, no. Owen Tippett, that's a prospect that we could go after. Um, 75 overall at 20 years of age. Medium top six in the CHL. A right wing sniper. Could be somebody of the future for us if we want to just pick up a prospect instead of a draft pick. Uh, Jared Spurgeon, two-way, no. Don't need that. Uh, Alsner, no. Uh, Oliver, no. No. Lad, no. Sajan, no. Borowicki, no. Ratcliffe, no. Nyberg, no. Vlasic, Kane, and Thornton. Uh, Evander Kane could be interesting. Because a power forward. You can take a chance on him. He fits on the fourth forward line for Chris Lyles. Interesting. That's not a bad one. Ooh, who's that? That's the line and okay. I think I might want Evander Kane on this team. 
because 28 years of age, six years left, fits in perfectly, tradable contract. Don't know if he's a shooter. Let's figure out what line he's on. Let's just hang on. Hang on, guys. Hang on. So he fits on the fourth line on our on our coach, right? So watch. I'll just show you how to figure out what Kane could do for us. Coaching staff, right? Hang on. Lyles. So what's your fourth line all about, Lyles? Overload. So that means Kane is an overload guy. You guys are saying wasted your time. He's an overload power forward. He's an overload power forward. All right. Overload power forward. Hang on. And let me just take a look at some of my other power forwards. Do any of them work? Like, Goudreau, do you work on the fourth line? That's good enough for me. This is... Kane is probably like that. Kane is... Is Goudreau like the first... Yeah. Kane... Okay, so that's Kane's... Um, I, I, I'm willing to bet that that's Kane's chemistry. It's the exact same as Barkley Goudreau. So it's not that good. He could be a real good second liner, but that we have Josh Anderson that we're grooming on the second line, right? He could also be that. Fuck, Josh Anderson could play in the first. What about uh, Goudreau's in there? What about Bjogstad? Kane is a locker room cancer? Oh, give me a break. I could, I could whip him into shape. Barkley, Goudreau, straight up for... Okay, let's just... It's not a bad bet, because you're trying to find power forwards of the future, right? Like, Sammy Blay, Kane, and Spiller could be plus fives. Um, okay, so if I was to do the trade... If I was to do the trade... What would it cost us? Let's take a look at that. And everyone's saying ca salary. We're not going to be in salary cap problems for a while, guys. Relax. All right, salary cap is not an issue. It's just, I, I love how he's a sniper. No, he's a power forward, guys. He's a power forward. This is what I'm saying. He, he's like a Brady Kachuk that we got in Boston. Like, he could be that perfect fit for you. And then, because you, he's growing, like, he's playing even better. All right? And I, his trade value is not that high, which is what you could steal him. And they want to give him, like... It's not that high. So, like, I'm thinking... What about Adam Henrique? No, they do not want to give him up. All right, so who would you want? I'll give you overall player. I'm not giving you potential. Braun, Chirot, Anderson. What do you like, Braun? Namath is in the AHL. You could take Namath. Braun and name it. They need two. They need defensemen on that team. It seems like, and then I'll be getting rid of one of my power. I'd rather hold on to all my power forwards just in case. I get rid of Wayne Simmons. That's who it would be. Yeah, Simmons would be off the team because I, I I'd want to keep Bjugstad, Goudreau, um, and Anderson for next year, along with Kane. So we have four power forwards. So it'd be Wayne Simmons, the one contract that we wouldn't want. And then they want a goalie as well. We could take... We could take Del Pickle back. I'll fucking even just take this guy. Guys, that's a solid trade. I mean, these guys are nobody to us. Great. I mean, we can get some draft picks. You're talking about third and fourths. Kane is legit. I'm not going to make the trade go through right here. I'm The reason I'm putting it through is because I want to see what YouTube has to say. Guys, Evander Kane could be the perfect fit for a playmaker, Sammy Blaze of the future, all right? And he's going to help him grow immediately. The, the $7 million per year doesn't frighten me. He's 28, which means he's got five more years out. It'll take him up to 33, 34, which is perfect. And we're not missing out on too much right here. I like, I like that trade, all right? I do. Now, I'm not going to try to go through with it. We get rid of that shit. All right. But uh, the best trade bait that we have here is Braun and Grice. Let me just put Grice up here. Oh, no, no, not there. Don't do it. Relax, relax. Seven mil is not tanking. Guys, it's 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 a move for next year, though. Relax. You guys are acting like just because we're the worst team in the NHL, we're going to get the best pick. We might be dropped back to fourth. We're going to miss the playoffs. Relax. Uh, Fine trade. We want Laugh. Well, if you get Lafreniere, you need a power forward for him anyways. Lafreniere would do wonders with a power forward like Kane in his rookie year. You find a sniper alongside of him as well, and bang. Um, hang on. What was I? What, what am I doing here? Grice. I 
I can get Joe Thornton. The only thing coming back for Grice is Thornton. All right. All right. Well, we do. We did our due diligence. We can get draft picks. This is why I still want to go like another month. Um, but uh, Evander Kane, um, people are getting angry at me saying that we're trying to tank this year. You're still going to tank. All right. We've also been winning games recently. Um, Evander Kane is going to be somebody that helps us out for next season and is the perfect kind of player that you need to put alongside of playmakers and snipers if his chemistry is there. And now if his chemistry is not there, he still has a contract that is tradable within two to three years from now. I like the Evander Kane uh, deal. I do. I do. I think that's the one player that we can get. And we can also still acquire draft picks with the rest of our assets, guys. I like the Evander Kane pick. That's my stance on it. But I want to see what the YouTube crowd thinks of it, all right? Evander Kane, should we pull the trigger on that trade with the veterans that I'm using? Or should we just move on and uh, just wait to the NHL entry draft? Let me know, boyos. And I will see you all next time. Hey guys, Johnny here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit. I should have gone with Jose for Nandez. Oh my God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to shit all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win. Trip to the wild card. First inning.